Hello, Bible readers. It's July 14th, and today's readings come from Job chapters 29 to 31 and Mark chapter 9. It's funny, some days, not funny, haha, but funny, hmm, that some days I'll get done with these texts and be like, oh, wow, I, it was really interesting how they played played with each other, how they there are connections, or even if there aren't connections, it's just, you know, that section of that book was was interesting to me. Um, today's text just I I found them very challenging um, challenging in a way that almost like frustrating uh, especially the mark texts when I'm reminded of the healings in mark um, I get confused and I've I've read commentaries I've studied I've I've written sermons on these kinds of stories in mark but it it's still as I read them, I ask the same questions I've always asked. Why do some get healed while others are not? Maybe that's maybe that is a Job question. Maybe it does connect to what we're reading in Job. Um, why do why do we not expect to experience exorcisms or healings now? I mean, we don't really have a demon category in our Westernized medicine uh, anymore, but. Uh, there are addictions, behavioral issues that act a lot like demons. Um, there are people across the country for a long time now who there will be a healer and people will you know flock to this person in hopes in, in desperate hopes that that a healing can happen. Um, it's hard to know as we read through Mark where to put, this kind of thing. What what category do do we put this in? Um, so that one of the questions I wrote down: How comfortable are we with metaphor? Um, you know, Jesus says in the story after the the healing story, he says, you know, you should cut off your hand if it causes you to sin. I mean, I don't I don't think Jesus is being literal here, um, and I I think it's important, you know, as we become more comfortable with these literary devices, whether it's myth or, you know, that Job is a play, uh, that that Mark is not trying to be a historical uh, account, but a, a narrative. Uh, I think it's important that we become comfortable with Jesus being allowed to speak in metaphor, that we don't actually have to cut anybody's hands off or pluck out anybody's eye or anything like that. Um, you know, The Handmaid's Tale, which is a pretty popular show on, on Hulu, uh, it, it kind of shows what that would look like if we started cutting limbs off of sinners. And, you know, since I believe we're all saints and sinners at the same time, I'm not sure any of us would be walking around with any hands. Um, the Job chapters, this is where uh, Job offers his final defense. We're sneaking up on the time when, when God's going to respond to Job. Um, basically, Job's saying, hey, I was good. Why did I not get good in return? You know, he's in a very works righteous frame of mind, uh, as is much of our world. Many of us believe that if I do good, I'll get good. Um, if I do bad, I'll deserve bad. And it's just so much more complex, complicated, unreasonable, unfair. I mean, the world is so much, so much more than you get what you deserve. And um, I, for one, in my religious experience, in my relationship with God, I am very thankful that an understanding of the Holy One has been passed on to me that is more comfortable with mystery that doesn't need to have everything make tidy sense uh, than what Job had. I am one with my God. My God is with us, all of us, at all times and in all places.